What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about how I have basically doubled my developer productivity over the past few days using an unlikely product. More specifically, that product is a keyboard cover from Editor's Keys that basically helps you move way faster with Xcode. Now, we are going to do a brief unboxing of this brand new keyboard cover that I've got here. We'll take a look at what it has to offer and more specifically how I was able to use it to increase my speed in writing code. And stick around till the very end to learn about how you can basically win one of these keyboard covers absolutely free at the end of the video in the giveaway. That all said, drop a like down below. Let's do it. All right, so let's dig into this guy. The keyboard cover comes in this pretty nice sleek packaging. You see the keyboard cover up front. You can see at the bottom it's for a M1 Pro. And then on the back here, we've got some information about the product, the fact that you can wash it and protect your uh, keyboard and editor's keys. So let's uh, dig into this guy. I guess on the back here, we have this little tear uh, tab thing. So let's see if I can uh, tear into this without knocking over my, uh, my camera rig here. So we are going to peel this and let's see if I can get in there. Give me one second, bear with me. And we should be able to peel it open just like so and pull out the keyboard cover. Now, the keyboard cover is sitting on top of a piece of uh, what I believe is cardboard. So let me actually flip this guy over to get it out right. And just like that, that uh, pull out of the keyboard cover is super satisfying. So here we have the keyboard cover on the white cardboard. And it's really durable, but also really thin. Like it's hard to describe, but it feels really good to the hand. And it's, you can definitely tell that a lot of time was taken to put this together. Now here we can see all of the various short keys labeled with the modifier keys being color coded, things like shift, command, control, and whatnot. On the back here, you can see that more or less it's just a empty cover. And uh, yeah, that's basically the cover for you. Let's get this on our computer and see it in action. Alrighty, so I've got the keyboard cover here laid out on top of the trackpad on my M1 16 inch. And we'll get this on and uh, right out of frame actually here, I've also got a wrist pad that editor's keys was nice enough to send on over. So notable mention there, but let's get this keyboard cover on. Now it is actually relatively straightforward to get it on. You basically just align it and you can press down. Now one thing I'll uh, call out here is the fact that the power button does have a bit of a cutout at that top right corner over there, which I personally like since you can have it exposed and it gives you an easier time aligning the edges. So let's get this uh, cover on. Basically what I like to do is align the edges, the bottom right, top right, top left, and bottom left, and you should be able to push down on the keys and get it snug. And then once you kind of get it on there, what I like to do is press down all the keys just like that. I also like to hit the corner keys that I'm gonna be hitting a lot. So like the function keys, the shift key, command, those arrow keys right there. And basically you'll know uh, that it is snugly on there. Now it's a very tight fit and it actually works really well. Some keyboard covers tend to slip off. So this one was really nice in that regard. Now, of course, I can't do this cover any justice without taking a look at Xcode here. So once you've got the keyboard cover on, you'll be amazed to find the number of shortcuts you can perform with this guy. So opening different panels like I've got here, opening up documentation, running tests, jumping to things quickly. The, really, the sky is the limit. There's over a hundred shortcuts that you'll find with this cover. It's pretty remarkable, actually. Now, one other thing that I really like about this keyboard cover, and perhaps this is a little different from other covers out there, is the fact that the modifier keys, so shift, command, option, all those keys you hold before hitting one of the actual keys, the letter keys, are color coded. So instead of having to remember that I have to hit shift, command, option, R, I can remember blue, red, green, R. Now, for what it's worth, it's a lot easier to match those colors. Maybe it's just me, but cognitively, it's, it's much less to keep in my head. 
And as I use the cover more and more, uh, what happens often, especially as developers know this very well, is the fact that we develop muscle memory with, frankly, our fingers of what to hit. So I, I can actually now um, just remember uh, from my fingers, rather, what key combinations to hit to get certain actions to happen. Things like opening up a tab, code completion, opening up a particular type of editor. So it's really nice. If you would ask me what key combinations they are, maybe I won't remember off the top of my head since in my mind it's colors and I can just remember them with my fingers. But nevertheless, it is truly amazing that you know, the number of shortcuts that I've discovered on here after doing, you know, this whole thing with iOS and particularly Xcode for more than 10 years is just mind boggling to me. Now, a few brief words about editor's keys. Who are they and what do they actually do? So uh, obviously they make this pretty sweet keyboard cover for us developers working with Xcode, but more than that, they're actually a pretty big operation. They are very well known for video editing and audio editing, so they make uh, keyboards and other keyboard covers for different other applications. So think applications in the video editing space, the audio editing space, think things like DaVinci Resolve for those of you out there that are familiar with video editors and whatnot. So they're uh, used by a lot of professionals at big companies like Warner Brothers, Rockstar Games, MTV, basically folks that you would expect to be using these uh, you know, professional level pieces of software and be using them on a day in, day out basis that would benefit a lot from these types of covers and actual keyboards as well. They have a very strong focus on craftsmanship. You know, these keyboard covers are washable. So for all of you who know, you know out there that, you know, sitting at a computer a lot and, you know, typing away, your keyboards get a little gross. If maybe it's just me, but if I don't say so myself, probably a good majority of folks out there. So fully washable, it's really easy to remove. And yeah, I mean, Editor's Keys has really outdone themselves with building, you know, a cover that not only is super easy to use, but is actually beneficial and not, you know, basically shove down throats of people who you know just want to do their job. It really doesn't get in the way and it helps you accelerate your workflow. So that's editor's keys for you. Now, as mentioned towards the beginning of the video, editor's keys was nice enough to offer five giveaway keyboard covers completely free to the recipients. So the folks that are watching, if you're interested to enter the giveaway, all you need to do is basically two things. So number one, you need to be following on Twitter. You need to be a channel subscriber and connected with me on LinkedIn. Number two, you just need to comment down below that you're interested in the giveaway. Uh, in about a week or two, I'm gonna select five folks at random and be contacting you, uh, hopefully through the Twitter or LinkedIn, one of the socials, uh, since it just makes things a whole lot easier. And you can get your hands on one of these keyboards, uh, keyboard covers, I should say, but frankly, in my mind, it's just a keyboard at this point. So. That being said, the other thing I did want to call out is that you can also purchase one of these keyboard covers using the link and the code down in the description. The code is iOS Academy, given this channel name, and that'll get you 10% off a keyboard cover as well as help support this channel. So that is all I've got for you guys today. Hopefully you get your hands on one of these keyboard covers and let me know in the comments what you think. If you use a different keyboard versus the Apple one or if you have a different keyboard cover, that you use already. I'd love to know that in the comments down below as well. As always, drop a like if you haven't done so already. Comment just hello if you're just here before you click away for that YouTube algorithm. Connect on all the socials. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.